What's going on YouTube? So only about a month ago, Kia announced that they were bringing a performance version of the Forte to their lineup. And now it is already hitting the lots. This is the new 2020 Kia Forte GT, which now goes head to head with the likes of Civic Si, Jetta GLI, and Elantra Sport, but at a price that undercuts them all. That certainly sounds like an appealing formula which is why we're at Car Town Kia today to try one out. Of course, if you're in the market for any new Kia, make sure you stop by their dealership physically or visit them via their website, which we provided a link to in the video description. So with that all said, let's see if the rivals should be worried. So getting things started with the exterior, the new GT does of course share its main styling characteristics with the regular model, but with a lot of changes to the details. For example, the Tiger Nose Fascia has an exclusive gloss black grille with little red inserts and a large GT badge to spice things up. All the other areas are also finished in a gloss black. But turning our attention to probably the most distinctive aspect we have really cool full LED headlights designed specifically for this GT. They kind of have a Porsche look to them in the way that the daytime running lights flower out from the main bulb. And then you do also have the separated turn signal and fog light. Heading around back, there are some more distinct elements, like how the LED portion of the tail light zigzags differently than in the other trims. You also have a black spoiler and unique rear diffuser, and also an extra exhaust outlet for the sport tuned exhaust system. So overall, you can definitely see the Stinger influence in the Forte's design, and especially so in this spiced up GT trim. Now perhaps the best looking element of this design is not on the body itself, but the wheels. The GT gets these exclusive large 18 inch 10 spoke contrast alloys, which also have a little red outline around the Kia branding to match with the other accents. As far as the tires, it does come standard with all seasons, but we have opted for the $200 Michelin Pilot Summer Tread. Heading out to the mirrors, they are heated, and we also have the optional blind spot monitoring system, courtesy of the GT2 package. Now many of the other safety systems do come standard, like automatic emergency braking, lane keeping assist, and auto high beam headlights but that GT2 package is required for adaptive cruise control and pedestrian detection. But anyways, that's going to do it for the outside. So now let's hop inside and see what the cabin's like. So as you would expect on the top trim of the Forte, you do have Kia's smart entry system, as well as their newest key fob, which looks a lot like what you get in the Stinger and the Telluride. Now, remote start is not available on this uh, on the actual fob itself, but it does come via the Kia Uvo app. Now to get inside the vehicle itself, there's not a sensor behind the handle, so you just push the button. Right, so taking a look inside the all new 2020 GT Forte, um, as you can see, it does share a lot of the same similarities uh, with the regular Forte, but there's a lot of unique touches that make the GT stand out from the other trim levels. Now on the GT, the only interior color you're gonna get is black. Um, however, you've got two different material choices. Normally, it would come with cloth seats uh, with red stitching, However, this model here has the GT2 package, 
and that gets us the Sofino faux leather, um, also in black, of course, um, with the red color contrast stitching and red piping. And then turning over here to the door trim, those same materials do carry over. Um, so you will find a leather rat across the entire armrest portion with real stitching and a color contrast. Um, this top of, uh, part above this here is also soft touch, as is the top. And then we do have a kind of faux carbon fiber type design through here. And then as far as your windows, it is one touch automatic for the driver window only. You of course also have very nice looking aluminum pedals. And then turning to the seats here, um, normally on the GT, you come, it comes with a six way manual seat. However, this model's GT2 package throws in 10 way power adjustment with two way lumbar support. And then like I already said, this is Kia's leatherette material, um, but a very, very attractive seat, I have to say. I really like this design in the center here, um, the color contrast piping and stitching, as well as the GT embroidering. Really just a very attractive looking seat. Now, as far as my first impressions of the cabin, I have to say this really is a very premium looking area. Um, and it does have very nice materials as well. So across your upper dash here, you do have all soft touch plastic with a nice sti stitching detail through there. Uh, we do have some silver trim with GT branding in the middle. And then of course our lower areas are hard touch, but I do like the use of piano black trim to kind of make things look a little bit fancier and uh, everything does fit together extremely well. Now we do have standard push button start. And when you press it, you'll find this standard eight inch display fire up here on the GT. Now checking out the gauges here, um, this is the premium version, comes on the GT2 package. Um, now what's different about them is not so much in the actual gauges here, um, but it's the multifunction display. It goes from three and a half inches to the premium 4.2 inch setup. Um, but it does function the same and displays mostly the same information. So you can just press the little button on the steering wheel to cycle through a lot of different stuff, including things like your safety systems. Now coming back to the steering wheel, um, you do have electric power assisted steering um, and you will notice one of the nicest things about this cabin and that's the actual steering wheel design is very premium, uh, looks basically straight off the Stinger which is definitely a compliment. So it is flat bottomed on the GT model, uh, we have a nice supple leather, it is perforated on the hand grab areas um, and you do have some red color contrast stitching. As far as your buttons up here, these are just your traditional buttons. So you've got your phone, audio, and voice commands. Then on the side you have buttons for your adaptive cruise control. As far as the steering wheel itself, it is manually tilt and telescoping. Now moving on to interior storage. Of course, this is a Forte, so just like the standard model, um, it does a really good job of maximizing storage space for a small car. So we'll start out with our center console here. As you can see, this is actually pretty large. Um, it goes down a decent ways. You have a little lining down here at the bottom, as well as one of your charging USB ports, which is illuminated. Up in front of that, you've got two uh, deep cup holders right there. And then you've got a big storage area up here in the front. Uh, this is a very large and deep bin does contain a 12 volt outlet, another charging USB port, a regular USB port, and an aux jack. Plus, if you choose the GT2 package like our model has, uh, you will even get a Qi wireless phone charger right there. Now as far as the shifter, it's another nice touch from more premium Kias. Uh, it is just a traditional shifter, so you pull back for drive. You can bump over here to the left to shift manually, uh, right here, or via your standard paddle shifters. 
I believe the GT trim is the only model in the Forte lineup to have paddle shifters. When you go into reverse, you will find a standard backup camera. It does nicely include active trajectory. Um, and also here on the GT trim, we do have rear parking sensors. And then a lot of you would like to see that we actually have the kind of traditional handbrake. Um, since a lot of other vehicles are kind of going to the electronic one, it's kind of nice to have something to manually tug on. All right, now next to the shifter here, we have our drive mode selector. Now we've got three different modes, normal, smart, and then a sport mode. As you can see, it does change uh, different colors up there as well. And we'll go into that later on in the test drive component. Now next to the shifter, you will also notice the buttons for your three-stage seat heating and three-stage ventilation. Um, both of these are optional in that GT2 package that I already talked about. Um, definitely nice to see, especially the ventilation. That's a pretty rare feature for this class of car. All right, now moving up here to our climate controls. Uh, we, do, we do have a standard dual zone automatic setup for the climate. Um, it is very simple to use. Uh, as you can see, you just have these two big knobs to adjust the temperature, a nice red font. Um, and then all your buttons right are, are physically located right here, so you don't have to go searching for anything in the display or whatnot. All right, now moving on up here to our climate controls. Uh, the base model does come with a six-speaker audio system like the lower-end Fortes. However, this model with the GT2 package throws in a really nice 320-watt eight-speaker Harman Kardon sound system. So let's go ahead and take a sample. to say I am very impressed by this sound system. This is definitely one of the best sound systems I've ever heard equipped on a vehicle in this class. Now that takes us up here to our Kia Uvo system. Uh, so we'll go ahead and take a quick look around. Now it does operate the same way as in pretty much all other Kia models so I'll be pretty brief about it. However, we do have a dedicated tech out video available if you want to get a real detailed look at the system. But anyways, hopping right in here, um, you do have a home screen. It has some shortcut buttons populated right on it like so. Um, you can press all menus to see all of your applications listed out. No matter what uh, forte you choose in the entire lineup, you do have standard Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, which is a very nice touch. Um, and we do not have navigation available on this model. Now moving on up here, we do have a manually dimming mirror. And then this Forte GT is also equipped with a power moonroof. Now like many of the luxury features I mentioned so far, this is part of the GT2 package. And while that's closing, I do want to mention we do have a um, a pretty nice feeling headliner. I don't know if this is the same one in the standard model, but it does feel um, more luxurious than what usually is in this class. But all in all, I have to say I am very impressed by the cabin of this Forte GT. Um, it's a really a spacious and high quality place. I love the design. Um, definitely has like a lot of sporty touches. Um, and really a lot in this class, including the biggest one being the Civic Si, um, just don't give you the availability of this many luxury features. Um, so if you want the kind of a luxurious experience, um, this is definitely a good choice. All right, so that does it for the front part of the cabin. 
Now I'll go ahead and hand it off to my brother Mason to check out the back areas. So coming around to the rear seats of the new Kia Forte GT, you are going to find a good amount of space for its class. You'll find 36 inches of rear legroom and 39 inches of rear headroom, which does place it behind its major competitor, the Honda Civic Si. Now coming over to the door trim, the materials do not follow through from the front. Uh, so whereas the, on the front this is a leather portion, this is just a hard touch on the back. However, we still do have a leather padded armrest with some red color contrast stitching as well as a power window, and down below that we also have a bottle holder. Now coming over to the seat itself, it is a very attractive design. I'm a really big fan of the uh, stitching and perforations here. So here in the center area, we do have standard vents on the Forte GT. And turning over to the middle portion, we do have a central armrest. It does fold down with cup holders inside. And up top, we do have some LED lighting, as well as a nice headliner, an assist grip, and a coat hook. Now, as far as the space is concerned, like I said, it is a little bit smaller than the Civic Si. However, I still have about six inches of rear leg room behind my knees in the seat back. Uh, and my feet can easily set up underneath the seat with the seat adjusted to Drew's position. Now coming around to the trunk, uh, you do have Kia Smart Open System. So all you have to do is walk up to the vehicle and wait a few seconds and then it will open right up. And once inside the Forte's trunk, you're going to find 15.3 cubic feet of space, which is really a large amount of space for this class of vehicle. As you can see, it goes back quite a distance, and it is also quite wide. I'm very impressed with the amount of space here in the Forte. And uh, it is worth noting that the seats do fold in case you need more space. And as far as how it's finished, it does have a nice carpeting along the floor, and you do have a spare tire underneath. Coming over to the passenger seat, it is six-way manually adjusting. And in front of the passenger, you do have some GT branding. And below that, you have a good-sized glove box. It is dampened and illuminated. And up top, we do have a sun visor with a mirror and an LED light. And it does also detach as well as extend. But anyway, guys, that sums up all of the practical stuff about this Forte GT. But now let's go ahead and get on the road and see the real reason why you buy a GT. All right, so now we've talked about all the, you know, more boring uh, things, aspects about the car. Um, <coughs> but now we're to what's really different about the GT, and that's that they've thrown out the powertrain and totally replaced it. Um, so what you're going to be looking at with this model is a 1.6 liter turbocharged four cylinder making 201 horsepower and 195 pound feet of torque. Um, that is right in line with what most of the competition makes. Um, and the other thing they've done that's very important is that you have the option of a six speed manual transmission um, or a seven speed dual clutch automatic transmission instead of the continuously variable transmission that comes on the standard model. Now of course it is still front wheel drive um, and then in regards to your fuel economy uh, you do get pretty good numbers um, so what you'll be looking at is with the dual clutch automatic 27 city 35 highway 30 combined um, with the manual 
it's going to be a little bit lower than that 25 city 32 highway 28 combined but for all intents and purposes you know still it's really good still fine coming. numbers for um, something that has performance in mind but anyways that's enough of the specs let's see how it performs out on the road But this car is small, and everything in this class you kind of expect to have like 150 or less horsepower, but the 200 really, it makes it fast. in this class is kind of just like about that zippy fun nature you know um, as they say about cars you know better to drive like a slower car fast than a fast car slow yep. um, you know and these cars they do play by that principle because you can really uh, push these things and uh, have a good time this car changes directions is just that's awesomely fast I mean it feels really great it takes like almost no uh, turning of the steering wheel to just make this thing zip right along yeah from the passenger seat it just seems like you can just yeah, weave I mean, in just, and out it just changes directions just instantly you know and for those of you who aren't subscribers, uh, I actually own a 2018 Elantra, and that shares a lot of you know parts with the regular model of the Forte. Um, and my car does not, my car does not feel like this at no. all. Absolutely, it has not. a lot of body roll, and this this thing is just it seems very planted. Yeah, very planted, very buttoned down. Now this does have a special uh, GT suspension on it. We also have some larger uh, performance tires as well. Um, so there's a lot of different things that kind of play into what makes this car feel the way that it does. Noticing there's kind of like a little fart uh, as the uh, dual clutch transmission shifts um, you do get like just a little bit of a, an exhaust fart you know not like a super loud exhaust or anything like that I know some of the some of the things in this class can be kind of um, boy racer e <laughs> as they say um, not really this one this one the Forte GT kind of has a mature feel to me um, you know, we discussed it inside the cabin as we went along through that. That uh, you know, it's it's quite a luxurious cabin, and really make they make available a lot more luxury features than some of the competition. Um, but yeah, the way it looks on the outside, the way it, it looks on the inside, um, as well as this performance that we're seeing right now, really kind of it feels like a mature and more refined option than some of the things that you might be comparing this to. And 
going along with that refined feel, um, we're just cruising here going about 45, 50 miles an hour. And, you know, this car rides really, really nice. You know, we were talking about, you know, it has special tires and special suspension and the tires are actually gigantic tires. They um, are very large. But like, it still rides really nice in here. You know, you're not sacrificing uh, a very like a luxurious ride to get something super harsh and sporty um, like I would imagine you would in some of the competition that this car is going head-to-head -head with I think that this car really kind of gives you that dual character of giving you the availability to have a luxurious ride as well as a luxurious cabin um, and still sporty if you want it to be Alright, so I just put it in a sport mode to try out that. Very nice. Of course, like every sport mode, it does just kind of tune things to be a little bit more um, sporty, more athletic. I am noticing just how fast the dual clutch transmission shifts. Um, definitely worth talking about because not all of the rival vehicles let's uh, offer an automatic. Some of them are just uh, go with like the same automatic or the like a CVT or something like that from the regular model. So it's very nice that Kia has switched it out to something that actually you know kind of has more passion. Because if this if this had the regular CVT, then, um, you know, that's not a real enthusiast choice, even though that is, of course, a good transmission and the regular Forte, um, but it's definitely nice to have this dual clutch here. is one of the biggest benefits of having a dual clutch is having paddle shifters that respond to what you do instantly um, you know that's just something that seems like more often than not that manufacturers don't do that well um, so I really appreciate here that they've, they've tuned this correctly I mean it really responds to um, what you want it to do Instantly, um, no hesitation. Like I said, these dual clutches, um, they've done a really good job with this. It's smooth around town in a way that if you're just driving it yep. normally, um, you're not going to think, oh gosh, you know, this clunky dual clutch. <laughs> um, but you still get the performance benefits associated with a dual clutch. of this car is really changed from the regular Forte. You know, I mean, like, once again, there's nothing wrong with the regular Forte, but it is still like a regular Corolla, like a regular Civic, you know. They're designed for basic transportation. It's designed to get you from point A to point B reasonably comfortably, you know, but it's not a bundle of joy or anything to drive. This though, this livens things up so much. But overall, I mean, what can I say besides that this is really a nice driving vehicle. Um, you know, not to sound 
too repetitive or anything, but um, you know, just kind of summarizing it up is that it feels significantly different than the regular Forte while still not going too overboard and being hardcore, super rug, uh, rigid um, and uncomfortable for everyday life. So it's still a comfortable um, everyday vehicle that you can drive but also have a real nice extra enjoyment factor when the opportunity arises. Now for the pricing of this new Forte GT, uh, you are going to find uh, actually very good pricing, especially for a performance uh, oriented model. So for the GT Automatic, that's going to come in at $22,290. Now you're actually going to have to pay a price premium if you want the manual, and that's going to start at $22,890. Now we have opted for quite a few options on top of that base price to make this thing fully loaded. Uh, so we have the automatic climate control package for 200 the big package which is the GT2 package for 2200 the GT 18 inch summer tires for 200 as well as carpeted floor mats for 135 and then finally when we add in the destination charge of $925 uh, this particular model as equipped comes in at $25,950 uh, which is very in line with a lot of its rivals. Uh, its biggest rival is like the Civic Si, and you're going to be looking at a very similar price point for that. Um, and you are getting a lot of features, especially for that price tag. You're getting like a fully loaded cabin, as well as the performance under the hood. Well, guys, we've enjoyed watching the first in-depth look at the 2020 Kia Forte GT. Please hit those like and subscribe buttons if you haven't already. And we'll catch you next time as we sample more of the latest automotive delicacies.